for the following exercises. Determine whether the equation of the curve can be written as a linear function. All right, so first, what does a linear function look like? Well, you can answer that kind of in two ways, right? I mean, you could draw a graph and you could say, well, a linear function looks like a straight line, right? Straight line there, straight line there, straight line there, whatever, right? It passes the vertical line test, et cetera, et cetera. So that would be one way to do it. The other way to do it would be to look at this more uh, from a formulaic standpoint, meaning that we know that the equation of a linear line is represented by y is equal to mx plus b. All right, where the y and the x are variables and the m represents the slope and the b represents the y-intercept. So basically, if this is the formulaic way to look at a, a linear equation, and this is what I'm given. The first thing I have to do is basically try to, or the overall goal I have to do is try to match this up to look like this. So the first step then in any problem dealing with this type of concept will be to solve this equation for y. Remember, you might have f of x in the equation as well, but remember f of x is simply equal to y. It's the same thing, all right? So my first step here will be to now solve this equation for y. And how do I do that? Well. I'm going to simply, let me just erase that first. I'm going to simply just subtract the 3x on over to the right-hand side. All right, because I have to isolate the y by itself. So I bring that away first. So now I have 5y will be equal to negative 3x plus 15. Then getting y by itself, I have to divide this all by 5, right? I have to divide this by 5. So now doing that, right, we have y will be equal to negative 3x plus 15 all over 5. Now this is cool, you can leave it like this. But remember the whole goal here, and let me just move this up slightly. Remember the whole goal here is to try and get the equation to match y equals mx plus b. So it, it looks close but not exactly, right? So the next thing I would do is basically uh, take each numerator value and divide it by the denominator separately. In other words, I'm going to distribute the, the I can't speak apparently, the denominator to both uh, numer uh, numerator terms. What is going on? My God. Ah, as if math isn't hard enough, right? Can't even understand what I'm saying. So this is negative 3x over 5 plus then 15 over 5. So now we can simplify this if we needed to, right? If we wanted to, and maybe I will. Maybe, maybe I will. Right? This is negative 3x over 5. And this is then plus 3. Now, I look at this and I'm like, wow, look at that. Doesn't this really now begin to, isn't this really looking like y equals mx plus b? Right? y equals mx plus b. If we notice, the y, there's the y, right? Here's the m, the negative 3 fifths. Okay? Here's the x. And then plus b. There's the b. So if I, can, if I can make this thing that I was given look like this thing, then I know it's a linear function. It's as simple as that, okay? So the answer is yes. The other way to have done it would have been to have graphed this. The first thing, though, you would have had to have done if you wanted to graph it is still solve it for y. So you would have had, that, that was strange. So you would have still had to have gotten it down to that particular step. Then you could have graphed it in your calculator if you wanted, right? And then if it's straight line, it's linear, simple. Let's take a look at the next one. So the next one, right, what do we have to do? We have to solve it for y. So we're going to subtract the 3x squared, right, from both sides. So minus the 3x squared, minus the 3x squared on over to that side. And lo and behold, we're going to arrive now at 5y is equal to negative 3x squared plus 15. Solve this for y. I'm going to divide both sides by 5. So y is equal to negative 3x squared plus 15 all over 5. If you want, we can distribute basically that 5, right, to each numerator term. You don't have to, but this is going to be negative 3 over 5x squared plus 15. Excuse me, plus, plus 15 over 5, right, but that's really just plus 3. I'm going to just combine that step. Now, the question is, is this a linear function? Does this match up exactly to the y equals mx plus b? You might say, well, yeah, it kind of looks like that. y is here, right? x is here. Well, that's part of the problem, guys, right? There's only how many, how many x's are there in y equals mx plus b? One. How many x's are there in this equation technically? 
there's 2, right? Saying x times x is the same thing as x squared. So basically, I can look at this and say, well, this x squared is really x times x. So in other words, it's negative 3 fifths xx plus 3, which definitely does not match now. Actually, I'll leave that there, which basically does not match now the y equals mx plus b. So that being the case, guess what we say? Nope. Not up in here. Not up in here. What movie? What movie was that from? Let me know if I, it might be a terrible impression. And by the way, my impressions are mostly terrible. But if you were able to put piece that together, leave a comment below. Uh, all right. So next thing is we got to take this function, right, and do the same thing. Uh, get it down to y equals something. So similar procedure. Subtract a 3x across both sides. You might already be seeing it, which is good. If you're seeing this already, that's definitely you're identifying some patterns, which is fantastic, especially in math, because math is just basically a whole bunch of patterns. Divide out the 5 from both sides now, because we got to get y by itself. We have y squared is equal to the negative 3x plus 15 all over 5. I'm not even going to bother uh, breaking this up. The reason being is because I need y and not y squared, right? So there is no way now, if I take the square root of this, I can obviously get that down to just now y. But then I'd have to take the square root of this, right? And you know that there is no square root in y equals mx plus b. So no matter how I do this, there's no way I'm going to be able to break that down into y equals mx plus b. So the answer is no again. All right, guys? So hopefully that helps. All right? If it did, help us out. We appreciate it very much. If you can subscribe, it's just hitting that little button. All right? You get a whole bunch of ton of free videos coming to you. And uh, yeah, we appreciate it very much. Thanks for watching. Take care.